a dilemma we run into in using the work of Josephus. Josephus Titus Flavius, uh, the historian, a Jewish priest who turned turtle. He turned from he was a, a Jewish supporter leading up to the temple of Jeru uh, uh, the destruction of the temple in 70 A.D. in Jerusalem. He switched sides and then assisted the Romans. In 100 A.D., he believes he was called to write the Antiquities of the Jews. People are enamored by Josephus because he wrote down a history that they believe we needed written. Unfortunately, we put too much faith in his work. Here's the problem with Josephus' work. We know he was of questionable integrity. We know uh, he, he, he was not completely reliable because he, he changed sides during the battle. Uh, and he actually uh, took on or assisted the Romans in taking on his people. But 30 years later, after he had been endowed with a, a form of wealth and taken care of and a, a Roman statesman, he wrote the Antiquities of the Jews. The problem with the Antiquities of the Jews is if in 100 AD he started writing and he wrote history 30 years in reverse, he could possibly recount from 70 AD to 100 AD, tell a history that would have one man's perspective. It would be jaded, uh, twisted, and it would have to be couched for the public he was writing to. Past 70 AD, as he wrote in reverse, he would eventually run out of his own knowledge and he would get into hearsay, teachings, and traditions. Forty years approximately, forty to fifty years, before the destruction of the temple, Jesus taught, how be it you teach the tradition to men, talking to the Pharisees and Sadducees, religious people, how be it you teach the traditions of men, making the word of God of no avail. Jesus was signaling to us that the traditions of men were off by that point in time. At some point, Josephus' writing of history from starting at 100 AD intersects the life of Christ where Christ tells us the traditions were out of line. Meanwhile, we take the writings of Josephus and we use that to not only translate our Bible, but to interpolate and comment on the Bible. The problem is within 100 years, of the time he, you know, Josephus started writing, by 0 AD, Josephus' history is starting to fall apart. It no longer works. And then as we get further into the BC era, going back towards Solomon, David, it's so far out of alignment, he's actually thrown us off the curb so that we can't see the truth using his work. By using the work of Josephus, we will be misled continually from the period of 350 BC